Welcome to Jimbo's Garage. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to Jimbo's Garage. Today's video, uh, I want to talk a little bit about the upgraded tire rack we did for the Jeep right here. Uh, we purchased this Smitty Built uh, tire rack to give us uh, a bigger rack to mount a larger tire for the spare tire here. Uh, one thing I want to point out, and I didn't do a video on this, but I'm just giving you some information. If you see this little bar right here, this is about a quarter inch wide by eighth inch thick. This is the only thing that they provided for a safety. Uh, so when you put the lock down here, when you spin this, this thing's supposed to hit the lock and 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 that's the only thing that's going to save you from from stealing this 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 tire now i could literally if i wanted to take my finger and bend this bar out and that would bypass the lock so i upgraded uh on the very bottom down here i put a one inch or an inch and a quarter wide by eighth inch thick uh, flat bar stock welded that to a washer right here and then drilled and that way the lock is mounted through there it's going to be much more difficult for anybody to try to steal this tire now than uh this little this little bar they provide with. So anyway, when we upgraded the uh, the tire rack, uh, we lost our rear camera mount. So the job today is to make a new rear camera mount for our tire rack. Let's get started today's video. All right, so I'm over to uh, my scrap metal pile, pulled out some one inch by eighth inch flat bar stock, and then I uh, grabbed some layout tools and my new location for my toolbox there. <laughs> And uh, I got some holes to drill, some bending to do, and I just wanted to uh, try to get all that stuff taken care of prior to bending it. It's just going to make it that much easier to work with. All right, with everything marked out, to get over to the porter band, cut off the piece I need, and then uh, I just did some center punching to the holes that I want to be drilling. And I got them over the vise and drilled them out. I'm using uh, some quarter inch bolts here to hold this uh, onto the tire mount. And I'm just going to be drilling out some quarter inch holes right here. You know, I just thought it would be a lot easier to uh, to get all the drilling done uh, when it's nice and flat. All right, so I'm using a small little screw to hold the camera. It's a small little camera to the mount, and I believe it's a uh, 6 seconds uh, screw. So this is a number 36 drill bit. You know, this has been a pretty handy drill bit set that I've had right here. I've got it a long time ago. It's got numbers and letters and drills and and it's uh, worked out pretty good for me. This is my tab drawer. I grabbed the, uh, the tap I needed, and I may have mentioned this to you guys before. But, uh, this is my tap collection here. Now, this is just my small taps, and I've been collecting these ever since I'm a kid. Uh, whether I've got them given to me or, or purchased them or got them at garage sales or whatever, but I've collected uh, just literally hundreds uh, over the years. And uh, this is the smaller sizes, up to half inch. I got some bigger ones in a couple other drawers there. All right, I'm just going to get this thing uh, tapped out to allow for this small screw, and that, that's it. That fits in there pretty good. I think it, uh, that's going to hold that just fine. All right, so with all the holes drilled, yeah, I just got a, a little countersink here to countersink the holes on both sides and clean them up. Took it over to the Burr King and just kind of rounded the edges, take off all the sharp points. All right, pull out my... Uh, my break here that uh, I've got now in a new location across the other side of the shop. It's a little bit more convenient for me. And just one simple 90 degree bend just like that. And we're all set. Got just a little bracket to put across there for some support. This is a piece of three quarter inch by eighth inch flat bar stock. Uh, it's just a small piece that I had over there and I'm just going to put a little angle in there just like that for support. All right, I want to take a moment here and just talk about uh, my welding cart here a little bit and how I have it set up. I don't think I've ever done that. Uh, you guys may have may have noticed I've got this little tool bag and I've got one set up on both sides of my cart just for convenience purposes. They're both set up identically the same. I got a couple things in here that we frequently that I frequently use uh, when I'm welding. Uh, there's always a chisel handy. Uh, always have a crescent wrench here uh, for bottles and stuff. I've got some markers, pencils and markers. I've got some uh, dikes for cutting the, the wire, the MIG wire. And I've got a little pick right here. And this pick is what I use um, to clean out the end of the nozzle a lot. Uh, you get a lot of buildup in here. And this pick right here, uh, it's easy. It just easily pops this, uh, pops the spatter out, out and just gets that. Uh, Cleans up, the, cleans up the nozzle. It's just a handy tool to have. Uh, another, another way of doing this is 
uh, nozzle dip. And, and this is this is a good product. This is from Weldade. It's a CRC product. I use this a lot. But oftentimes, uh, for long continuous welding, when your nozzle gets really hot, you can dip it in there and it lasts a long time. But for this situation right here, just gonna be a couple of short little tack welds. I'm gonna clean this out. It's really not even gonna get hot enough to even worry about that. I'll catch that on the next one. All right, let's get going. All right, so there's not much welding to this project. This is really about it. <laughs> A small little bracket uh, doesn't require too much, but uh, you know, this thing is going to work out, uh, I think, just the way we we're hoping. Uh, with all that done, just a coat of paint on there is all we really need. And we're ready to install this, uh, this new camera bracket. All right, time to take off the tire, take off the lock and the tire. This is a pretty cool little lock right here, by the way. Uh, you know, this thing is designed to take the key to your ignition, put it in there, and uh, with a little twist or so, it uh, matches that your key to the ignition, and uh, that works out pretty cool. Forget the name of it, though. All right, a couple of uh, little quarter-inch holes in the back of the bracket right here. And it's time to install the bracket. You know, my, my fat little fingers right here, <laughs> you know, the camera, there's not a lot of room to work with where I am right there. It may look like there's a lot, but uh, you know, it, it's kind of tight in there. Got a ratchet, got a wrench, and I'm trying to, trying to get in behind there and I'm trying to hold this thing and work the ratchet and it just wasn't getting it for me. There had to be a better alternative and you can see here in a minute, um, I just went and got my electric impact wrench on, a, on an extension and uh, finally, yeah, that, that, <laughs> that was the way to do it. The top's got a little bit more room, it was a little bit easier and uh, that worked out a lot better for me. Alright, there it is, brackets installed, had Dane help me uh, get the tire back up on there and then reinstall the bracket. And get the lock it lock put back on there and uh, we're good to go all right I'm trying to maneuver this little screw <laughs> a little frustrating but uh, eventually I did get it and uh, you know I started off with a small little angle screwdriver I didn't think I had much room there but uh, I changed over to a uh, to a regular smaller screwdriver and that worked out a little bit better for me all right so this camera mount is adjustable it moves up and down and uh, to adjust to the right position you need. And uh, this was a good little project uh, that worked out pretty good. And there it is right there. And the camera actually works now. So we're excited about that. You know, it's a great little project, a small project, but sometimes these uh, smaller projects are the best. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next week. See you next time on Jimbo's Garage.